Iterators, fundamentally, are mutable objects. They change every time you ask for the next element. Well, there's an alternative that doesn't require mutation, but gives the same benefit of easily implementing lazy sequence processing that's space efficient. It's called a stream. A stream is a lazily computed scheme list. That is, it's a linked list where the first element is represented explicitly, but the rest is represented implicitly and may never be computed at all if nobody asks for it. So a stream is best thought of as a list, but the rest of the list is only computed when needed. So, if you ask for the car of the cons of 1 and 2, you get 1, and the cutter is 2, and consing 1 on the cons 2 nil is how you build a list with 1 and 2 in it. Well, streams work exactly the same way, except for you say cons stream instead of cons. And the car of the cons stream of 1 and 2 is 1, and the cutter stream of the cons stream 1, 2 is 2. And if I want to build a stream representing the elements 1 and then 2, I would cons 1 onto the front of consing 2 and nil. So as you can see, I just put the word stream everywhere and I'm done. But the behavior of streams is quite different from lists. Because cons stream is a special form, only the first subexpression is evaluated immediately. The second subexpression is only evaluated when somebody asks for the cutter stream of that cons. So back to the world of regular cons, I would evaluate both subexpressions and get an error before I ever built a pair. And that's true if I want the car or the cutter. Now it seems like we should be able to get the car of this pair because that's just the number one. But due to the order in which expressions are evaluated, you can never get it because an error has already occurred before you would ever ask for that element. Well, con streams will give it to you. Consing together one and the result of dividing one by zero gives you a pair where one is evaluated explicitly but the computation required to evaluate this expression is delayed. Asking for the car of the resulting pair does give you one. Now if you ask for the cutter stream, you'll get an error, because cutter stream actually asks for the second element of a con stream. It's what actually forces computation to happen, for this expression to be evaluated, and when you evaluate this expression of 1 divided by 0, you get an error. So the important points here are that you can work with streams just as you work with lists. Constream delays evaluation of the second element of the pair until cutter stream is called on that pair, at which point the second element has to be evaluated because it's been requested. So let's build some streams. If I define S to be constream. 1, cons stream 2, nil. That will build me a stream representing the list 1 and then 2. And I can define t to be cons stream 1 followed by 1 divided by 0. That's not a well formed list, it's just a pair. But the important thing is that when I load this file, no error will occur. S is something that starts with 1, and T is also something that starts with 1. If I get to the cutter stream of S, I'll see that that's a list that starts with 2. It doesn't yet know that there's nil at the end. But if I asked for the cutter stream of the cutter stream of S, then I would in fact find an empty list, nil, right here. So I can access all elements as I wish. I could also get the car of the cutter stream, and that would give me the number 2. And so, this stream that I've created behaves exactly like a list, except for the fact that evaluation is delayed until I ask for the cutter stream of t, the error of division by zero never occurs. Now streams can be built up programmatically. I could define range stream from a to b as if greater than or equal to a, b, nil, otherwise I con stream a onto the range stream of a plus 1. 
Now we still have a definition of range. If I get the range from 1 to 100, it explicitly writes them all out. Or if I get the range stream from 1 to 100, it only computes the first element. So ranges take up linear space, but a range stream only takes up constant space. I can make as large a stream as I want, and it will be evaluated immediately. If I give that stream a range, I can start asking for elements. What's the car of the cutter of R? Well, that would be 2. And what about the cutter of the cutter of R? Well, that would be 3. So much like an iterator, a stream gives you access to each element in the sequence in order. But you do it by decomposing a list into its first and its rest. And when you ever you ask for the cutter of a stream, that's when the rest is actually computed. But it's not computed in its entirety in this case, because the recursive call to range stream just calls con stream again, which doesn't compute any more than is asked for. So we've still only computed 1, 2, and 3, but not yet found that the fourth element is 4.